So Walgreens has a new run of their infamous mystery boxes and I was able to get my hands on a few of them. Let's open these bad boys up and see if they're worth it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, that God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. That's right. Walgreens has their new run of their infamous mystery boxes out that always kind of seem to be a hit or a miss. You know, all the weird mystery boxes that people try and flip all the time for like a hundred bucks. They're only $15 and I really don't understand why people buy those for those prices. But Walgreens does have a new run of their widely popular mystery boxes out and I was actually able to snag some. Now, what you'll see is Walgreens is putting up these new displays and these new displays have all kinds of Pokemon products as well as all kinds of sports cards products. So it's really cool to see Walgreens doing this. I went on a big old hunt trying to find some of them early in the morning. Couldn't find any. My stores lied to me, said they didn't have any because I went back later in the day and found a display put up at the store I went to earlier and all of the mystery box slots were conveniently empty. However, one of my channel members, Pokey Scott, is local to me and he was very kind enough and he picked me up a few. All right, so let's check out what we were able to get. So Pokey Scott did pick up a couple of these mystery boxes for me and we do have four. So again, shout out to Scott for always being on the lookout and grabbing some. I've never been able to find these before these have released at walmart's and targets and walgreens several times they're all made by mj holdings i have never found these before because they always get gobbled up and people in my area try and flip a 15 dollar box for 80 dollars, which again makes zero sense to me because at worst you're getting two booster packs in here that are modern oh gosh can you imagine paying 80 dollars for that that would be horrible let's take a look at them walgreens has dropped two new types Okay, so we see green box and we see a blue box. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. They're both right around 15 bucks. The only difference is this one right here that we'll take a look at first says that it comes with two booster packs and one mystery item as well as an online code card. I don't think the other one comes with a mystery item. So these boxes look really attractive. You can see uh, maybe get some evolutions, maybe get some uh, EX Holland Phantoms. Uh, look for randomly in certain mystery packs so you'll get an extra pack if you win so these can be weighed guys if you comes with two packs and you're gonna get a randomly inserted mystery pack that means the winning boxes have three packs and the people going out and buying all of these and flipping them can weigh them oh look this one's heavy i'll keep this one open myself and sell the rest of them for 80 bucks this is why you shouldn't buy these things from flippers guys anyways we're gonna open them and have fun so we see just a little show everywhere on the back uh maybe get uh potentially burning shadows or breakpoint uh, I'm guessing the chase pack. There's probably one Holland Phantoms pack out of however many. It doesn't really give us any odds. So, oh, look, it does give us odds right there. Uh, two booster packs, mystery pack seated one out of every 10. So I would assume if you hit an evolutions, that's considered like one of the winning mystery packs. And then you could get something vintage as like your main hit. So that's the first one. And the second one is very similar, except it says it comes with uh, without the extra item. Pretty much the same. We got gym, uh, gym challenge, right? here evolutions and it does say the same mystery packs seated one out of ten so these are the new walgreens mystery packs that i finally was able to get my hands on for the first time let's open two of them and uh or let's not open two of them let's open all of them and see if we can get lucky with something guys if this is your first time to the channel and you like all things pokemon i do try to bring you two to three videos a week on pokemon that are entertaining and a little bit different than anybody else is doing hit that subscription button if you don't want to miss any videos and if you want to be a part of the channel get access to extra perks cool little logos and emojis and extra giveaway in Entries when I do live stream giveaways, hit that join button right there and become a part of the Dr. Applesauce 2 channel. Which one should we open first? Let's open, uh, let's go for green since my uh, my knife is green. Drop a comment down below. Do you think we're gonna hit something cool? You think we'll hit a vintage pack? That would be super cool. I did open a mystery box recently that was the first time uh, I ever opened a mystery box that I won. I got a fossil pack out of that mystery box opened the fossil pack and it had a Moltres in it. So how cool is that? All right, I've never had these, so I don't know how to open them. <laughs> let's just rip it open. Okay, so let's see what we got going on in here. Uh, oh, okay, that's weird. It looks like we have uh, single blisters. Okay, look at that. I've never seen them like that in these types of boxes. 
And we got Vivid Voltage and Darkness Ablaze. Not mad about that. And we have, oh, looky there, a Shining Legends code. Y'all, one of y'all is going to get a lucky, lucky Shining Legends code right there for uh, the online TCG. So very interesting. Folded up and shoved inside uh, with these single, single blisters instead of just a full on like open you know, booster pack like that. That's interesting, I haven't seen that before. Okay, I'm excited to do this, guys. Uh, I, I did a poll on my community tab asking everybody what they wanted to see more of, and a lot of people said they wanted to see more mystery packs and stuff, so let's do it. Okay, so first box wasn't a win in the sense that I didn't get an extra pack, but you never know, we could hit something cool. I still need that chunky rainbow Pikachu and uh, I haven't hit it yet, so it's possible to hit that. I might hit a Charizard. I've only hit one Charizard from Darkness Ablaze. There you go with the code card. One, two, three. And we're going to burn. Ooh, we're going to burn the Psychic Energy today. All right, let's see if we can get some nice hits today. All right, maybe we can get a good hit. If we don't, even if we don't get a, a you know an extra pack, maybe we'll get a good hit. We got a Dartrix and a Glimwood Tangle, a Lyron, a Pansage, Golette, Vanilla Snow Cone. We got ourselves a nice little crocheted trap pinch right there, a Teddy Bear. We have Big Parasol, Reverse Hollow, and hey, we got a Hollow on the first hit. We got a Corviknight Holographic Rare on the first hit, not bad. All right, on to Vivid Voltage. What do you guys think? of Vivid Voltage. I absolutely love the set Vivid Voltage. It, it, it was a lot of fun for me. I think partially because it introduced the amazing rares and I was just a huge fan of those. So it was interesting to see uh, getting Vivid Voltage out of that box because I love it. One, two, three, and burn the psychic energy again. Okay, let's go. Uh, second pack, maybe we'll get something. Matang, Mighty Inna. We got a Beauty Trainer. We got a Clobopus, a Skiddo Shuppet. We got a Seed. We got a Joltik. Look at him. He looks like he's like recharging himself on the outlet right there. We got a Hitmon Top Reverse and a literal bag of trash. All right. No luck in the first one. Let's try our second box. Let's see. Can we get it right here? Is that going to do it? Yeah, maybe. All right. Have you guys ever found these? Have y'all found these recently with the new, uh, the new restocks? Uh, I'm excited to be able to find it for the first time. So let's see what we got uh interesting okay so it says we're supposed to get a mystery item right so two booster packs and a mystery item so we got a mystery card uh ooh, barf <laughs> dual sun and moon <laughs> oh that's bad at least give me two different sets and then a breakthrough booster code card and we got an extra card here which just kind of was jumbling around in there in that box look at it, it's all messed up so i mean if it's something really nice that'll be unfortunate i bet you it's a reverse hollow what do we get for our extra item we have a dark rye hollow okay that's not bad disappointed about that 15 bucks for two sun and moon base packs uh, oh that's not so great and i don't remember what the trick is for sun and moon so we're just gonna go for it. We got a dupe hider. We got a Marini Stuffle. We got a Togedemaru. Cute little dude, right? Cute little dude. We got a Lolan Grimer. And here is our reverse. They just look better. Reverse Picky Peck and our regular rare Gold Duck. And then we've got our Energy, Herdier, Lily, Splenda. And there is the code card for you guys. So that's what? Four? Sun and Moon Base. Ugh. Kind of kind of dookie two sun and moon base come on the other one was cool with at least a darkness ablaze and uh and a vivid voltage i uh, i enjoyed that boom sun and moon code card right there all right let's try one two three and then this should be the energy which is a fire there we go hey look rotom dex charabug oh rainbow energy that's really cool cool card uh more lull sandy gast dratini i've always really liked this dratini i'd don't really know why i don't have an explanation for it i just always really like this dratini dratini alolan diglett bound sweet we have look at that not, look at that doesn't that just look so cool the reverses in sun and moon look so much cooler than sword and shield and a 
Cloister regular rare. Man, we just taken we taken L's left and right today. Got two cool hollows though, so that's okay. Okay, so let's do I'm gonna do the green one last because I liked the green one better than the blue one to be honest. I'm just hoping to not get oh wait, no, I liked the blue one better. So we're gonna set the blue one aside. Then we're gonna do the green one. Packs in a mystery item, so we got a mystery card uh ooh, barf at this point i'm just hoping not to get two sun and moon out of the blue one wait no i am confusing myself see they're, they're like so similar the first one i opened did not have the mystery item and i like that one better so we're gonna do that one first they're almost the same thing it's highly confusing but I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to hit that subscription button, guys. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And what do we have here? Okay, we have... <laughs> wow! Two more sun and moon packs. That's kind of... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to venture out to say that's kind of lame. At least mix up the packs. Give me a sun and moon and a darkness ablaze or something like that or i don't know throw a cosmic eclipse in there that'll be cool all right but what are you gonna do all right here is the code card we got a breakthrough booster again and our mystery item uh way off oh my goodness way off center check out that she thick on the top skinny on the bottom but uh lots of whitening because they just throw it in there let's see what we got and a, a reverse hollow for our mystery item Woo we won okay Let's check out this sun and moon booster. Maybe we can get a hit. So far, four for four uh, with nothing but really a hollow rare, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's fun. I love doing mystery boxes. What do you guys think? One, two, three, burn the, ooh, fairy energy. I really love doing mystery boxes. And uh, who's excited for Brilliant Stars? I'm pumped for Brilliant Stars. I can't wait. We got a big old donut. We got that dude. We got a switch. We got a Sir Skit, Fromantis, Morlo. Ooh, lots of. Lots of grass Pokemon, the Sandy Gast again. You know what? I always thought that was a popsicle in his head. It's a shovel. <laughs> I always thought it was a popsicle. We got Dratini again. Ooh, we got the reverse hollow Stoutland. Man, the reverses in Sun and Moon are just so much better. I know I've said that over and over, but I think they are. And we got a Butterfree regular rare. All right, come on Butterfree, be free. Be free Butterfree, be free. Butterfree's free now. All right, sun and moon. So far, we are five packs in and we have two regular hollows to show for it. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Are these Walgreens mystery boxes worth it? Or are they, eh, eh. <laughs> We got a fairy energy. Two fairy in a row, two psychic in a row. All right, great ball. Uh, I've got this dude in every single pack and I cannot pronounce his name for the Piyuku Muku. Pukumuki? Pukimuki? I don't know. Rotom Dex, Rowlet, Torkoal, Zubat, Grubbin, Growlithe, and a Reverse Hollow Grubbin. All right, Sun and Moon, give me some love. Hey, we got a hit. Nice. We got a Solgaleo GX. All right. Beautiful card. I really love the GXs. I love how they look. Very cool. Got our first hit. Probably just worth a couple bucks, but hey, I'm I'm excited to uh, to actually hit something good. Ultra Road. Once during your turn before you attack, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. That's actually super powerful, uh, even though I believe Sun and Moon is out of rotation. But hey, we'll take it. We got ourselves a hit. All right, my friends. Last box magic. Last box box. Last box magic. I hope you're having fun today. I'm having fun being a doofus enjoying opening pokemon cards with you guys i hope you guys get smiles to your faces when you come and watch my videos that's my main goal right all right so let's see if this one is still the cardboard sleeve boosters like the last one was and it is it is the cardboard sleeve boosters and it is the exact same boosters so i'd be willing to if i was a betting man and i'd buy mystery boxes so i am a betting man 
I'd be willing to bet that they just had a ton of sun and moon packs over at MJ Holdings and a ton of vivid vo voltage and darkness ablaze and just started stuffing these suckers. What do you think? All right, your code card is an XY Evolutions Mewtwo Mayhem. That's actually kind of interesting. There you go. And our last two packs. Unfortunately, no extra hits. So let me know what you think. Uh, those are about $15 each, $13 each. Are they worth it? Are they kind of a waste of money? For me, because I like mystery boxes, that aspect of it is worth it, but kind of, yeah, kind of not that great of a value. Unless obviously you get lucky and you hit one of the biggest packs. So we have two great sword and shield sets here. Darkness of Blaze and Vivid Voltage are both really cool sword and shield sets. We're gonna rip them open and see if we can get lucky, man. Uh, Charizard or Rainbow Pikachu or Full Art Leon. Any of those hits would make me very, very happy. We got a one, two, three and a burn the, ooh, lightning energy or electric energy. All right, we got a Relicanth. We got a Yellhorn or Serang. Always thought that artwork was was pretty darn cool. Sinistee, Feebas, Passimian, Fletchling, Wimipod. We got a Meltan Reverse and pfft, nothing there. But hey, actually, Escavalier is really cool artwork. You can see that he's in, uh, Escavalier's in the arena, like in the middle of a battle. Really cool. Last pack, Vivid Voltage. Oh, hey, by the way, I don't think I've told y'all before or told you many times, but at the end of the month, we are going to do a Brilliant Stars Booster Box break, live stream, free, giving away all the packs, but there's gonna be a twist to it, okay? So make sure to stay tuned for that, and all of my channel members get extra perks and extra entries for the giveaway, so make sure if you wanna support the channel, click that join button, but we'll be doing that at the end of the month. That is going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Last pack, a Vivid Voltage. Anybody going to Collecticon, uh, Orlando? I'll be in Orlando in uh, about a week from the time y'all watch this video, and it's going to be a blast. If you're going to be at Collecticon Orlando, come see me and say hi. There is the Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage 123 code card. Burn the water energy. Last pack magic. We got three hits. We need something. We need something. Worst case scenario, we're going to come out of this having a lot of fun, and that's totally okay, because I got to hang out with you guys, and that's awesome. All right, we got Kakuna. We got a Sir Chester bathhouse. I tell you what, nice big old hot soak. I'm sounding good right now. Galarian Stunfisk, the troll trap Pokemon. We got a Tynamo. We have Milseri. We got Galarian Meowth. We got Chimcheo. We got Blitzel. And Riolu Reverse Holographic. Last pack magic, ladies and gentlemen. What do we got? Boom! Oh, Magirna! <sighs> yeah, I mean, it, you know, it's it's not the best, but hey, at least we hit another hollow, and it's a cool looking hollow for sure. So, boom, check it out. All right, so I need you guys to let me know what you think. The Walgreens mystery boxes, are they worth it or are they not? It's hard to say. At about 15 bucks a piece, you're guaranteed two booster packs. If you're getting Vivid Voltage and you're getting Darkness of Blaze, it feels okay. It feels kind of worth it. But if you're getting Sun and Moon, that's like $4 a pack. It doesn't feel that great. It just depends if you like to gamble, if you like to roll the dice. But definitely don't buy these from flippers because you're just going to end up paying an exorbitant amount of money for two Sun and Moon base packs. <laughs> don't ask me how I know that. All right, my friends, I hope I earned your subscription today. Check out some of my other videos right there. I know you'll find something you'll enjoy. If you haven't already, hit that subscription button and that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up because likes are free and they really do help. And like I always say, find somebody to love and serve today and be the change you want to see in the world. We'll see you next time.